there was mold inside the bottle. It was so bad. And then I started feeling in the back of my head that my hair was starting to feel thinner. Okay, so before we get crazy excited, I just want to let you all know that this braid lock journey is going to be very temporary, okay? <laughs> so what I plan to do is give you a little bit of a backstory as to why I stumbled upon this lock journey right now. And I'm also going to share with you how long I plan to um, document or not document, well yeah, document my lock journey with braid locks. So if you have started your lock journey using braids, then you definitely wanna stick around for this journey because you will find some very interesting information that I will be sharing with you. And also I'm learning a lot as well because my previous lock journeys always started, well no, my first lock journey I started that with the instant locks and I do have a video on my channel if you would like to know how you can start your lock journey with the instant lock method, just definitely go ahead and check the cards right here. Um, also my second lock journey I did start that with a two strand twist. So my third lock journey I'm starting with the braid locks. And as I mentioned, this is going to be temporary, but you know, this will give me a lot more information where I can share with you guys my experience with the braid locks. So yeah, this is going to be a very interesting one and you need to stick around for it. Okay, so let's first start with why am I on a lock journey and why is it temporary? So the interesting thing about this lock journey is that I kind of accidentally started my lock journey or yeah, I accidentally started it in a sense of um, a couple months ago, me and my husband um, celebrated our wedding anniversary and I installed these beautiful um, Marley braids, Marley twist here yeah. and I also have a video on my channel if you would like to know how you can install those Marley twists as well. So as mentioned I installed some Marley twists and it wasn't even a week into me rocking these this particular braid style right the Marley twist braids and my scalp was so itchy super duper itchy it like it hasn't been like that in years and as you guys know i was suffering with or dealing with um dry flaky itchy scalp and i had ended my second lock journey because of you know dealing with this dry flaky itchy scalp i, I really hated it it messed with my locks and I was just ready to end my lock journey amongst other things as to why I ended it but that was one of the reasons right and I remember explaining with you guys that I wanted to take that time to understand what's going on with my scalp understand my hair and all of these things and during that time so it's been over a, has it been a year has it been a year since I've oh my god yeah it's been a year over a year since I have um you know, taken out my locks and I haven't experienced dry, flaky, itchy scalp. So, um, a couple months ago when I installed my Marley twist, like it wasn't even a week into wearing it. And I'm like, oh my God, why is my scalp itching so bad? It was so bad. Like in the nights, like I'm just like, scratching at my head so hard and I'm just like this is not right and I was like to my husband I'm like I'm pulling this out but he was he was adamant that it was because I hadn't washed my hair since I had installed the um the twist and I'm like no I'm like because a couple months ago a couple times before I had gone like a couple weeks without washing my hair and my hair did not my scalp did not feel crazy like that like it wasn't so I was like to him something's different I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's the braids and I'm like but it can't be the braids because I've rocked these braids before etc and then um in when I was pulling out my twist I was using now before pulling out my twist yeah yeah actually yes when I pull, was pulling out my twist I was using my spray bottle and uh, 
um, so after like taking out a twist I was putting my hair and I'll install my twist and then I looked at the bottle and then I realized that there was mold inside the bottle now how mold got inside the bottle is that I <laughs> I had um, put some biotin drops in there because I wanted to try biotin and see how biotin really works with hair growth, right? So this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And I put the biotin inside the water bottle and I never finished using the that mixture of biotin and water. So that was sitting there for some time. Well, okay, not for some time, like a like couple of days. It wasn't a long time. And I guess it just started to mold, right? So what I realized to myself, I was like, oh my God, this is, um, cause the biotin, it's, it's like a food supplement, right? So I was like, oh my God. So I left this in the water and I completely forgot because when I'm looking at it, I'm just seeing water and I'm not thinking that I put the biotin in it. And clearly it started molding up and I was spraying this on my scalp. So in the midst of taking down my twist, cause I was like, listen, I just installed these Marley twists and I can't believe I'm pulling them out already. So I was like, let me just put some um, braids in my hair and rock my braids. Cause I wanted to just leave my hair for a bit. I didn't want to be touching my scalp my scalp, my hair and whatnot. So that's why I installed these. And then I'm like, you know what? Also, I had this issue with my hair where I'm doing my moisturizing routine. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing and everything's going good. And then I started feeling in the back of my head that my hair was starting to feel thinner than it already is. Because as I've explained to you guys, I have fine hair strands and low density hair. So when I'm touching the back of my head and I'm feeling like something don't feel right, like my hair is literally like I'm losing my hair. And when I took the mirror and I was looking at it, I was like, nah, my hair is thinning out. I don't know what's going on. But what was going on is that I was doing my moisturizing routine. And sorry, not my moisturizing routine, sorry. When I'm washing my hair, I'm, you know, combing through my hair. And even then I was thinking, why am I losing so much hair? What is going on? Why is my hair falling out? And then I was like, oh, you know, they do say you lose a certain amount of hair strands per day. But I'm like, this this is ridiculous i should not be losing this much hair whilst i am actually you know going through my moisturizing routine or when i've washed my hair and combing through my hair so i decided listen i'm gonna stop everything and give my hair a break and i'm gonna rock this for three months like give my hair a complete break from me touching it all the time especially the fact that i have fine low density hair i should not be touching my hair as much as i am or was <laughs> so that is how i accidentally stumbled in this lock journey because i'm like i want my hair to to you know get its volume back because when i'm telling you I was literally starting to feel like I'm losing my hair. Like when I touched my head, I didn't feel hair. I just felt head. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how I stumbled upon this lock journey. And I'm going to rock my braid locks for three months and see how my hair um, pro progress during this time. And to see what happens when you start your lock journey with braids. So with that said, what I would like to say to anybody out there who's starting a lock journey is first and foremost, make sure you have no scalp ailments, no issues going on on your scalp because that can really impact your lock journey. Like for example, as I said, when I had the Marley twist in, I was like itching. My scalp was super duper itchy and I was not understanding what was going on and my scalp started flaking up as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but my scalp had started flaking up so badly and I was just like, uh-uh, 
I'm done can't deal with this so you know as mentioned as well like why I ended my second luck journey was due to one of the reasons was due to dry flaky itchy scalp and if you watch that video I'll link it right here for you you will see where I was showing you where the the um, the flakes were getting stuck inside of the um, the locks and it was just ridiculous I just couldn't I didn't want to deal with that and you know if you know you already have a scalp issue try and sort that out before starting your lock journey again this is a reason why I ended my lock journey and I wanted to get my scalp right before starting my second lock well my third lock journey okay guys remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below to check out the videos that i've suggested to you to watch and also if you enjoyed today's video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week sunday at 5 p.m we will be right back here with another video